Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Marty! I'm Marty. Alright, welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We're finishing up the Mason system today in Turnabout Succession. Before we start, Marty, any final predictions? Because we basically learn everything. About, like, about like, everything? In this case. Um, well, Christoph Gavin is the reason a lot of this happened. Because I think he was like, little girl, like, <laughs> this sounds terrible. I feel like this is almost like the Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Yeah. In, in the, uh, Into the Woods or wherever, where he's like, little girl, like, here's oh, where your he's nail kind of polish. A pervert. And he's kind of, <laughs> sure. The Big Bad Wolf is the pervert. Big Bad Wolf is the pervert. We don't have yeah. any evidence that Christoph yeah, yeah, Gavin We is. have no idea. But, I mean, who, who would let their daughter talk to this guy? Anyway, that's... Okay. And then there was... What was the other thing I was thinking about? Thalassa. Um, Spark Brushel. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gonna be, like, a total douche, I guess. <laughs> he's gonna be terrible. Spark it's gonna be super You really annoying. don't like Spark Brushel, do you? He, I don't like him! He is yet to prove himself as a good character. Fair enough. Starting, right. we could go to the Borscht Bowl Club, the Solitary Cell Borscht Bowl Club, we have to unlock his Cyclox, and I'll just say we don't have enough to do that. Okay. We can't unlock Kristoff's yeah, Black that would make sense. so one Drew of these new ones. Drew or Sunshine? Let's, change of scenery, let's go to Sunshine. I think that'd be good. Alright. Present day, Sunshine Coliseum. Holy crap, there's so many things. So many people. Well, this is a blast from the distant past. Long time no see, Mr. Valent. Seven years, has it been? Frankly, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. He looks no different, I just realized, aside from his mustache. And his hair is slightly grayer. Yeah. Like, he has an age. Okay. Actually, I came because there's something I want to ask you. I've spoken to the press. I've nothing more to say. I've spoken to a lot of people myself, and come to some conclusions. But then I realized, I needed to hear it from you. I have walked a difficult road these past seven years. Because you couldn't perform Magnifi's repertoire. Do not be deceived. Valen's skill is the real deal. I do not require my mentor's hand-me-downs. No, it was my partner who slowed me on my way. Zach Grammary. He was a butt. <laughs> his, ra <laughs> his rather well-performed disappearing act seven years ago was the end. Or sh so I thought. Zach Grammary murdered our mentor and fled to escape punishment for his crime. You said something to that effect seven years ago, didn't you? I remember it as twere only yesterday. Yet, that was not the way of it in the end. For while he vanished, the suspicions upon my own person never did. His partner Zack vanished to protect him. That's what those thieving magpies of a press fought! I had no idea. Yet that very same press comes to me now feigning interest. They cover the greatest magic show in history as if it were a vaudevillian distraction. And here I must stand smiling at them all. What am I if not a player in some fiendish farce? Oh, I feel that. I understand that a little bit. Just because it's like all these things can be happening, utter turmoil in your real life, but if you're a performer, you just you gotta have to it. keep going yeah. and bear it. Oh, I've had so many times that that's been a struggle. Might I suggest it's because you never made it clear what happened? Magnify's death is still a mystery to this day. Which is why I came here to get the answer from you. Yep, of course. Only two? I knew I'd be seeing these sooner or later. The audience has no business stepping upon <sighs> the stage. They must be content to sit and stare at the spotlight. What if you need somebody to saw in half? Boom! Cyclox broken! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds an awful lot like something I heard seven years ago. Well, we actually Magnifique can't break grammar. those. Oh. Okay, well, we'll go to the It was close. You almost had a perfect, like, sequential order. Aww. A man in a costume is handing out balloons to the kids. It's nice to know kids still like balloons, somehow. They're great. They're a favorite of mine, balloon sellers, that is. What? I would have them join me on the big stage. They could hand out balloons to the children in the audience. Yeah. Wouldn't all those balloons get in the way of seeing your show? Bravo. The possibility had not even occurred to me. Phoenix Wright, Entertainment Consultant. That's awesome. One time for a show, I threw candy into the audience. Like, that was my- Chucked it at people's yeah, heads. Chucked it at people's heads. Yeah, Artie was in the audience. Did you guys- Was I? 
Which show is this? You saw Brigadoon. No, I didn't. You didn't see Brigadoon? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You weren't. You didn't. You didn't see that. No. Our uh, Link though. Link was there. Oh. He I'm was... like I don't remember you tossing candy you, in the you audience. Would, you would have hated it to be honest. Brig I wasn't. Brigadoon. I, I wasn't heard it was there. like an hour too long. It was like two hours too long. It was like it was over. It's more than two it hours. Was, I'm out. It was over three hours. I think. It was like a This is not sound of music. I was on for one hour of that show, by the way. I had like yeah, or, or like two, call, maybe one and a half that. hours. I had a part, but it was like they took the part and they were like, okay, we don't have enough guys, so we're gonna take this solo, like this really big solo, and we're gonna just up it an octave and then make it for a girl. So okay. they made a part for me. That fun. sure is a big sign. Yes, it's a favorite of mine. Impressive, isn't it? I considered using it for one of the- for one wall of my house when the show is over. Wow, your house is that big? Actually, as fate would have it, I currently live in a one-room apartment. But following the wild success of my show, I intend to build a luxurious mansion. I was torn over just how big to make it. Until that sign whispered the answer to me. That's... really beautiful. The Sunshine Coliseum, was it? I'm not sure it actually qualifies as a coliseum, but it's a great forum. Yes, it is a favorite of mine. I have always been fond of Sunshine. Speaking of which, have you heard what happened here recently? Oh yeah, something about something going on during some concert. Exactamundo! I see no reason to hide the fact that I too was involved in that case. Well, that's something. Did you help solve it? Ha! What do you take me for? No, I merely serve to deepen the mystery. That's obstruction of justice. I'm a magician! It's my sworn duty to create mystery whenever possible! I mean, it's true. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no clues here. I don't think I've ever seen a hot air balloon so close. It's a favorite of mine. I've often thought of how to use it in one of my shows. Perhaps for the climax of Valen's quick draw shoot and returns. I stand on stage, I shoot, and the hot air balloon is pierced. It explodes. What do you think? Thrilling, yes. A little, I guess. But no one inside the Coliseum would be able to see it. Bravo. It took me four days of planning to realize that. <sighs> this guy's a master magician. <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, Drew Studio, I guess. Maybe Vera will be around? She's Actually, in jail. I know, she's in the hospital. Never mind. Present right. day, Drew Studio. Huh? Oh, well, 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 what do we have here? <sighs> Remember me? Of course I remember you! Journalist meets ex-attorney in bar, end quote. Can I ask what you're doing here? Mr. Mission was poisoned and his daughter's... Oh yes, I know. Oh, how I know, yes. Uh, it's caused me no end of grief, to be honest. Journalist wishes he'd track down case just a little quicker, end quote. Were you on the trail of this case the whole time? Zach Grammarie, what's a good friend? Zach said something to that effect back at the Borscht Bull Club. What a character, what a man! If a little, no, a lot, no, extremely rough around the edges. Do you think I could ask you a few questions? Oh, you serious? I mean, uh, I'm usually the interviewer, not interviewee. Journalist asks questions not other way around, end quote. Fine, shoot, I don't care. People have been asking me all sorts of things lately. Ugh. <laughs> this is where I start to feel a little bad for him. It was tragic what happened to Drew Misham and his daughter. Forgery is a serious crime, and they paid the price. Wow! Okay, but she does not deserve to be in the hospital. No, she doesn't. You know what really did them in, though, don't you? Yes. The forged diary page. That night I interviewed him. I found out something about Mr. Misham that I hadn't known. What's that? You know, he always felt like he was being watched. Every day, for seven years, walls have ears, potatoes have eyes, end quote. <laughs> That's a great quote, actually. <laughs> <laughs> feeling watched? You mean he felt guilty? No, no, I'm not talking about feelings here. You know, I felt watched too. The whole time I've been on this case, no less. Journalist gets tingling sensation on back of neck, freaks out, end quote. I just realized whenever his eyes bug out like that, he looks like a Cuphead character. <laughs> I'll have to check that again. Yeah. Because you felt guilty? Why would I feel guilty? You oh, see what I- oh, Or like, maybe the bit. boss- you know how the boss's, like, eyes are like, woo, woo, and then, like, the flower shoots stuff at you? Oh, and yeah, yeah. I, I haven't it. played the game because I suck at that, but Artie's played it a lot. I love it. It's one of my favorite games now. You felt like you were being watched, huh? I wonder what it all means. Yeah, I feel like there's few games that we both really enjoy. 
Or Chibi Robo. Well, we, yeah, we both like Chibi Robo. We both like these games. Kirby Air Ride. Kirby Air Ride's great. Some of them overlap. It's just the main games where you're like, oh, I love Mega Man. I love Cuphead. I love uh, Civilization IV. <laughs> I, I Not in one of my top games. Not in one of your play. top games. What are some of your top games? I know Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time's number one. Paper Mario is number two. I love Paper Mario 2. That yeah. wasn't a two. I don't. Two I, I have a lot of other high up games like Mario World is a lot amazing. Yeah, Mario sixty four really is amazing. That. Donkey Kong Country two it. is amazing. I don't care. Drew Misham, uh, Muffer Free is amazing. Oh yeah. I Drew Misham felt either. like he was being watched, and you along with him. You sure it wasn't just nerves? Nerves? No, it's nothing so mundane. I stopped paying attention to my nerves a long time ago, but I felt it too. Journalist, sure he is being watched. End quote. Don't you wonder why Zach Grammary got rubbed out after seven years? Right after coming into contact with me? He completely vanishes from that courtroom. Then for seven years he talks to no one, not a soul. Then just as the remaining time was almost up, he contacts me in order to have this made. And then... he dies. Starting to put the pieces together, aren't we? And... you were being watched this whole time? Maybe not just me, maybe you were too. Me? I mean, how it makes sense. People watch people. I met Zack for that case, actually. You mean the shooting of Magnify Grammary? No, before that. It's not widely known. Oh, you mean the accident? During the quick draw shooting practice? My, my, my. You're well informed. You should have seen me back then. I dug up quite the scoop. I wanted it all money, fame, women, a little puppy. All for me. I was younger then, and my days and nights smell the fresher mint than they do now. Ugh. Valent Grammary did mention one particularly nosy reporter. In fact, I was on close speaking terms with Magnify Grammary at the time. I knew his daughter too, of course. Falassa, was it? Really? Then Falassa disappeared. Quite suddenly at that. And Magnify wouldn't say a word about it. Yeah, my evil habit got the better of me. Journalist catches scent of scoop, goes on feeding frenzy, end quote. I set up a one-on-one -on -one interview with Falassa's husband, see? Zach Grammary. Something strange was in the air over at Troop Grammary in those days. The whole screwy mentor controlling disciples scene had started by then, I'm guessing. Falassa, she was part of it all, right? Come on, you can tell me, off the record. Sorry, I, I don't know. Anyway, I kept prying and eventually became friends with Zack. Sure, he punched me once or twice, or five times. But over time, he came to see me as his confidant. So now, he kind of reminds me of a combination between, like, the weirdo he is, and then maybe, like, LeFou <laughs> in Beauty and the Beast a little uh, bit. He gets, he gets punched a bit, and he's kind of dumb, but he is smart at his work. Mm -hmm. He's picking up on scents and different things, which is kind of cool. Yeah. He's been waiting this whole time. Seven years, eh? Waiting? For his big comeback, of course. A big revival of the Magnify Miracle. Of course it was all a dream. Because of this. The performance writes. In the absence of any official documents, he was golden. Who's to say the old man didn't give his rights to both Zack and Valent? So Valent waited until Zack died. Legally, at least. The time finally comes and Valent's like a kid on Christmas morning. He's getting ready for his show at Sunshine Coliseum, you know. If that document sees the legal light of day, it's going to put a bit of a damper on the big show. He's a sorry one, that Valent Grammary. Lost out to his partner at work and in love, too. Oh, love? yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same old story, really. Two disciples and their mentor's only daughter. What has three sides and all of them pointy? A love, a love triangle. triangle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that is pretty classic. When you're in a performing troupe, that's your world. It's like family. One with an entire high school's worth of drama, intrigue, yep. and backstabbing. <laughs> okay, that's- these are good lines. I'm liking this. And in the middle of all this, Falassa has Trucy. And then she dies. I need to find out more about this Falassa. How the heck would she have performed with that? I mean, I guess she didn't move a lot. She was just standing there while they were not shooting her. <laughs> Those three paintings, all Drew's works, of course. Which is to say Vera's works, really. Or to be more precise, Vera's forgeries of someone else's works. Of course, if you demand utter and total precision... Actually, there's nothing more. I was about to say. At least they painted those walls. Yeah, <laughs> the door outside. 
Vera might come walking in at any moment, if she wasn't in intensive care. Will she ever come through that door again, I wonder? This is where Mr. Misham fell? Never thought our seven-year reunion would be quite like this. Wait, you knew Mr. Misham? I met him once, in court. It was a brief meeting, but one I'll remember for the rest of my life. Now that's a story right there, that is! I smell a scoop! Ex-attorney now down on his luck pianist toy sonata of sorrow, end quote. I'm all ears. Let's have it. Don't hold anything back. Could you at least get rid of the down on his luck part? No clues here except the pain behind here. Oh, Phoenix don't care about that. It's fine. A drafting table. Probably for making detailed designs and for forgeries. You know what I think about that? I'll tell you. Painting should be done freehand. No rules, no restrictions. You really think a line drawn by a ruler is gonna move anyone? I smell a letter to the editor. Could you write an article with a ruler? End quote. Unless you wanted a ruler to write the address on your blackmail letter straight. That's what I think. You can quote me on it, too. I just realized... What? For Vera, if she was so afraid of going outside, did she just not go to school or do school at all? She was homeschooled. Oh, was Emma she? told us that. Oh, okay, I guess that makes more sense. Okay. You could drop this guy on a deserted island and he wouldn't get bored. <laughs> well, given her father, I hope she had a decent education, at least. Well, she's really good at painting. Yep. <laughs> That's an odd assortment of equipment to find in a painter's studio. Of course, it makes more sense when you know they were making forgeries. I guess that's why they never took visitors here. Wouldn't really want people seeing all this. Yes! In fact, I was the first human being ever to set foot inside this studio. Er, other than Mr. Misham, of course. Oh, and Vera, too. And this is assuming that I'm human, of course. I'm beginning to have my doubts! <laughs> oh man, if this was Professor Layton. <laughs> Look at all the jars of paints and pigments. Why are there so many jars of the same color? What color my... is it? Blue. Blue? Okay. My guess is that they're sorted by age. Age? When you're making a forgery, it's important to match the age of the original, see? Paint compositions changed a lot over the years. Oh. Right. Did you learn that in journalism school? Journalist relies on writing skill and imagination. End quote. As long as you don't do news stories by imagination. Either of that, or they just bought a lot of the same color by mistake. I find myself not caring anymore. <sighs> Let's take a closer look at that desk. This envelope's from the client who requested that forgery. Just think, if that had gotten lost in the mail, I'd still be wearing my attorney's badge. Yeah. This is why they didn't send it via our post office. Okay. I just had to do that when I see this pose. I can't believe it's been seven years. I have to stop torturing myself with these feints. I know! I'll just pretend it's saying something else. The post office? Why, it's right over there! Good day, sir! <laughs> 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 Not sure whether to, where to laugh or be like, oh, poor guy. It's okay. This frame looks even smaller sitting next to that photo. Just the right size for a commemorative stamp indeed. A commemorative stamp put there by a daughter that killed her father. Sometimes life just sucks. Sorry, had to had to do that. I it's actually fine. I actually didn't, but Mr. Brushel, do you know this person? Do I know that person? Of course. I was friends with Zach after all. He hit me a few times, five times actually. That's it. But still, I'd never forget his wife, Thalassa Grammary, Magnify Grammary's only daughter. Do you think you could tell me more about her? Well, why the heck not? At least he's willing. He's he is nice. It's like the problem is like he's the only possible guy who like could have done it basically at the beginning. So you're like he's totally the murderer and he's so weird and he's terrible. And now you're like oh he actually is like he was like pretty like close to that and like had to go through a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. And he is a good guy. He just looks weird. <laughs> he looks weird and like ugh. Again, if he was a dentist... <laughs> no, oh my no way. <laughs> so, Falassa married Zack and had true CC. It was her second marriage, actually. What?! You mean she was divorced? I hadn't heard this one before. Was she married to Valen? Not quite. Her late husband was a performer, too. <laughs> he died in an accident on stage. Not Valen. <laughs> Tragic, really. They'd only been married one year. That's unfortunate. 
I didn't know. Ah, but she was a beauty. I still carry a portrait photo of her uh. around here. Okay, that's weird. I uh. forgot about that. I'm a big fan of your mom. <laughs> big fan of your, your mom, mom, Chris. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and it's like... Go on the show. Oh, wait, I want to... Ah. We can go back and look at it. I've known Trucy since she was a little thing, too. She's got the better deal, really. She's got you for family, after all. Oh, that's sweet. What do you mean? Just reminiscing, you know. Thalassa has another child besides Trucy, end quote. Oh, really? What? <laughs> but, but Trucy said she was an only child. Ah, yes, uh, this is the one she had with her previous husband. Oh, my gosh. Her previous husband? Her first husband who died on stage? Yep, they had themselves a kid. In one year, apparently. There's a shotgun wedding. Yeah, it, can easily, it can easily go to bed. Yeah. Another orphan now. It's like a Duggar wedding. That's another one who slipped through the cracks. No idea where they are now. I'd Falassa be really, had another child. I'd be really interested to see if it's like somebody from the past where it's just like, it's April May! And you're like, okay, whatever. The ages on that don't yeah, line I, up at I all. Yeah, I know, I know. But if it was something like that. Do you think I could borrow that photo? Sure. I could be generous on occasion, you know. How Plus, I made like five cents of copies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't need this locket anymore. Don't discard it. Better return it to Trucy before I okay, forget. Okay, good. People and events get all tangled together and get bigger and bigger. Don't you think? I was too busy wondering about bigger to listen to what you were saying. Sometimes, you just gotta accept that you won't be able to untangle it all, I think. Maybe so. But still. I have to do what I can. And I have to tell what I find to those who come next. Next, you say? I'm not the one who will close the curtain on this little play. Apparently, that's not my role anymore. Yeah. Magnify. I was just wondering what Magnify would think of all this. What do you mean? Haven't you seen it in Trucy? She's got his power. Yeah, that's what they were saying. You mean how I can't lie to Trucy? It was the same with Magnify. And with his daughter, Thalassa. It's a strange thing. You think it's some grammary gene? Magnify well, told me once, back when Zack married Thalassa. So pro this other orphan must have that same gene of like, I can't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta think about that. Okay. He said Zack had good eyes. Oh, wait, did you want to see the yes, photo Yes, again? yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, she's very pretty. For a sec, it looked like her hair was wrapped around her wrists. It's the exact same color, but it's it's her uh, bracelets. She does look familiar, and that's what's bugging me. Uh, she almost looks like mm, Angel Star a little bit. <laughs> Similar hair color. Similar hair color. It's the eyes that's messing mm. me up. Uh, but not good like a Grammarie's eyes. Not that good. I wonder if Zach ever played a game of poker with his wife. Who knows what the Grammary secret was? Maybe nobody now that Zack's gone. Zack Grammary. Oh, one more plot hole where we have to go back to before Zack died. The plot had finally begun to reveal itself. It sprouted from a warp in the Grammary fabric and grew, swallowing everything. Wrapping itself around the Grammary's power. I always figured the information you take back from this meeting he could have figured out by tracking down Brushel in the past. Honest. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't really care because we're <laughs> basically using a computer to find Yeah, essentially. A power which passed from Magnify Grammary to Thalassa to the next generation. And I would once again need to meet the one who bridged it all together. Yeah. I really like the Mason system, though. It's, it's really cool. cool. Some people don't like it, though. That one's done. Forceful club? Yeah, we gotta... Alright, you. Time to break your dang psych lock. The Grammary Secret. I have to know more about this power of Trucy's. It's like she can see right into people's minds. The first time I saw her do it, it blew mine. And after you were done having your mind blown, you took her to play cards with you. Uh, gotta use the resources at hand, I always say. <laughs> Yet I myself have no such power. But Trucy does. Why's that? Maybe Trucy got her power from her mother? Falassa Grammary? I will not speak of that! Falassa is officially missing, correct? And I think I know why you don't want to talk about her. Because this weirdo has a picture of her. <laughs> 
Well, Mr. Zack? Let me be frank. It is true I do not wish to talk of her. And now there is another I could care less about. You. Ah. Take care you do not end up missing yourself. For some reason, it's extra scary when magicians frighten me. I better rethink my strategy here. The three of you were a team once. Not that the entire country wasn't already know <laughs> doesn't already know this. At your peak, you were the biggest stars around. Yet, there's another story behind the fame. One that not many know. Falasa lost her life during a rehearsal. To you and Valent, Grammarie's bullets. It was an accident! It- it wasn't me! How could I shoot my dear Falasa? I'm sure Valent would say the same thing. Why, it's just like another murder I might mention. Damn you! Her eyes. I loved Falasa's eyes. To think they could read my mind was frightening. This is literally the plot of Secret Garden the Musical. <laughs> <laughs> she has her eyes. She has my Lily's hazel eyes. And then there's like the two guys that sing it. And there's I'm the, not familiar with that musical. Brothers. I've, I've read they're, the book, so but... It, it's different from the book. Uh, I they're, think, they're apparently. Bro <laughs> they're brothers. And then it's it's the doctor from the book. Okay. And then it's the... um father of the, the of Colin. Yeah, the hunchback. I can never remember and if Colin one... is the guy in the bed or if it was uh, Dickon. No, in the Dick bed. Dickon's the um, spry young he's lad. He's the gardener's he's... son? No, or... he's... No, that's Ben. The He's Martha's brother. and they. I don't uh, remember Martha at all. You don't remember Martha? She's the maid. Is she the main character? No, that's Mary. You I... don't remember this book. <laughs> no, I don't. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. But yep. yeah, it, it's that same thing. These two guys both like this girl's eyes. <laughs> you know, as you do. Yeah, as you do? Yet there was a warmth in them that it felt like an embrace. She is dead, and Magnifique Grammary has joined her. So the only one with her power left now is Trucy? Mr. Zack? I do not know. I don't need any power to see through that one, buddy. So there's someone else. Someone other than Trucy. Someone who inherited Falas's power. Ha! Ha! How would I know? My chances are slim. It would take a miracle to learn the truth. Or maybe one has already occurred. There is someone else with the power, and I know who. <laughs> we know who? Who? Okay, let's look for um, people. It would be stupid if it was Kristoff, because that doesn't line up with age. It's not Drew. Next page. Vera? That's close in age. But how many She's years... She's older than Trucy. How many years elapsed between the marriages, though? That's the real question. <laughs> because... Two years? She was married for only a year for the first person. Right. He died. She got married to Zach pretty soon after that, I think. Okay. She's 40. Um... I can't think of anyone else it would be. That's some of it. Tell me, what do you think the meaning of magic is? Huh? It is simple. To do magic is to make miracles happen. It is not something an amateur can achieve. Or you, apparently. Otherwise, if it's Apollo Justice... I don't need to make a miracle if one's already occurred. And I've known it all along. In fact, it would take a miracle for me to mess this one up. What are you talking about? I know the, who, who the one with the other power is. I don't... You don't? Is it Apollo Justice? This, really? This boy? That would make... Okay, His... that makes way more sense because their eyes are similar. Yeah. Apollo and... His but... name is... I forget. Something weird. Who would he be? An attorney. A attorney? I noticed him when I went to visit a friend's law offices. So, what are we to make of this oh great ex-attorney? You can show me pictures of strange boys all you like. But you could at least say something like, I'm this boy, I could use a laugh. Perhaps you wouldn't laugh if you knew the facts. This might not be 100% proof, but it's close. There's a link between this boy and Falasa. Actually, it's more of a ring. A ring? This is annoying because we know absolutely nothing about Apollo Justice past, so I would never be able to be like, IT'S HIM! Like, oh, ever. well, there's something pretty obvious you didn't notice in one of the pieces of evidence. Really? Perhaps this will refresh your memory. I just so happen to have evidence showing this missing link. Let me look at... 
<laughs> Mr. Zack? This face is your response, Mr. X Attorney. You did say I wouldn't laugh if I knew the facts, right? Yeah. Okay. Few magicians will tell you they're going to produce a dove than take off their hat. It's almost more effective if not to reveal your hand in advance, Mr. Wright. Which I've just done, clearly. Question is, do I have a trump card in here somewhere? <sighs> what is Wait, this? Whoops. Is it the portrait? Is there something in the portrait that is similar to her? Oh my gosh, she's wearing two bracelets. I'm an idiot! Oh my gosh! That's where he got it from! <laughs> Actually, I know something. Your marriage to Falassa was her second. How did you know this? Her first husband. He died a year after they were wed, yes? He's like, dang, you're a wizard. He was a performer. They met when he joined us Grammaries as a guest in our show. After okay. Falassa wed him, she left the troupe for a while. And you say she had a child then? I have a photograph of her here. I couldn't help but notice what she was wearing when I first saw this. I didn't notice it at all. <laughs> You're like, it's her hair. Oh no, those are just her bracelets. I'm like, you don't do <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh, whatever. Because it's the same color. If they were more gold, I'd be like, that's mm -hmm. weird. Those bracelets stand out. They are a Grammary family heirloom. This boy... Where's a bracelet just like the ones in the picture? What? So, that's why. Why what, Mr. Zack? I took this photograph of Falassa before she left us. When she returned, she wore only one bracelet. I bet I know where that other one went. She gave it to this boy, her son. Why the heck, though, would... I have so many questions, though. Why would you <laughs> abandon him? Well, to be- okay, Falassa was 17 when she married her first. Well, that's her own problem. I mean, like- It's true. <laughs> this game doesn't explain that. Right. This strange power. I myself do not know where it comes. Bracelets. Yet the fact is that it is passed down through the Grammary line. It runs in their veins. What is it? I asked her, Falassa once. This is what she told me. Her power responds to tension in others. Yep. Tension? If she were to face a person and they became tense, even slightly, then she would know, no matter how hard they tried to hide it from her. Does Trucy also wear a bracelet? No. Oh. Okay. So, she could see it? Not quite. This is the strangest part of it all. She wouldn't realize that she was subconsciously detecting this tension. Without the use of a particular object, or in her case, objects. Objects? Wait, were they something she wore? Yes. Her bracelets. I admit, the first time I saw one of those, I felt there was more to it than just fashion. But what kind of power could a bracelet have? I have made a decision. I will tell you all I know. Consider it a gift. Wow. So the thing that I just... Yeah, true scene Apollo. <laughs> if I had seen them side by side, because we play as Apollo, yeah. I think I would have been like... They look, they look similar. too similar to not be related in some way. Well, here, let's go to the, the profiles. Right, here's Apollo Justice. He's got, wow! like, black eyes, brown hair. Yeah, okay, cool. And slight spikes. And then, yeah, and she they has look, bluer eyes. But it's the face shape and and the eye yeah, position. They, that if I good could see them, If I could see them right next to each other. He's a bit more tan, though. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe <laughs> Some people don't tan, yeah. And maybe husband was more tan than other husband. Although, maybe. that makes no sense, because look at this guy. <laughs> this guy's pretty tan. <laughs> this guy's pretty tan. <laughs> well, I hardly need to tell you at this point, but those two are brother and sister, yes. And the brother, too, has this power of theirs. It also explains their relationship, because they're pretty weird. <laughs> she's just like, eh! Ah! Apollo's not that weird. No, but she's like, look, my magic panties. He's like, you're a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> like... So Trucy has an older brother. I wonder what will come of that. Mr. Wright, tonight, after our game is done, I will return to a life of hiding. I would not see her live her life without knowing. I understand. I'll tell the two of them when the time is right. What? I... He knows the whole time! We're just like, um, hey, why do I have to work with you? <laughs> I am in your debt. Once again, yeah, there's like eight times now, dude. Freaking adults! No kidding. Why don't you tell us things? <laughs> what I want to know is how all this got to be so messed up. Yeah, Zach! Yeah. <laughs> 
Those bracelets are made of a special alloy. It is said to expand and shrink very slightly in response to body warmth. So they're temperature sensitive or something? Yes. This is how they can shrink to the exact size of the wearer's wrist. And this has something to do with the power? What have I told you? The grammary power reacts to tension in others. When a grammary senses tension, they too become tense. And this tension translates into minute contractions of the muscles. So minute they cannot sense it on their own. Their muscles? Oh, so that's what the bracelets are for. With a bra bracelet on, one can sense these, contra these contractions. Because the bracelet is always a perfect fit. So when the person they're watching gets tense, the bracelet feels tighter on their wrist. Precisely. But that alone doesn't really count as mind reading. I believe I understand how the process works from there. It's a simple question of eyesight. Eyesight? I guess that sounds simple enough. Have you ever heard of kinetic vision? Something about the ability to see moving objects with full clarity, right? I've heard of it before. They say athletes can see a moving ball like it was stopped, if they focus. Oh, but it's not confined to sports alone. It all relies on the ability to focus. When we focus, we can see many things. The faintest twitch of the face, and the meaning that lies behind it. Therein lies one of the secrets of magic. One must know the mind of a crowd before one may distract distracted. So basically what you're saying is, the Grammaries can see really well? For them, seeing is more than believing, it is knowing. Their power relies on eyesight combined with exceptional focus. Things are starting to come into focus for me too. Of course, it is difficult to maintain such high levels of focus for any length of time. But what if someone could tell you when to focus? Or something? Precisely. But wait, Trucy doesn't have any bracelets. Right. You are talking about poker, yes? The timing of when to focus is so elementary, she probably does it without thinking. I doubt Trucy herself has realized this. That is all I know of the Fiend's grammary. Thank you, Mr. Zack. If this boy's bracelet is the real Fiend, then he will use it before long. Thereby awakening his power. I'll keep that in mind. Well, shall we play a game? Ah, I've said so much. Let me say one more thing. I will tell you of that night. That night? The night my mentor, Magnifi Grammary, passed from this world to the next. There were two pistols and two letters sent. This was Magnifi's test. A test? In his last years, Magnifi Grammary worked us to the bone. No, to the pain. But that night, I could not shoot him. So I shot the clown's forehead instead. This, it seems, was the correct answer. Take this. I give my art to you, Zack. What? It is thanks for playing along with my show. I'm trying to give him, like, the Yen Sid voice. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I, you're doing it. <laughs> you shot well tonight, Zack. Though I would not have minded dying by your hand. How could I shoot you? You're my mentor. Bah! I thought you might say that. If I went home without shooting anything, what would you have done then? Then, of course, I would have given Valent his chance. And if I had shot you in the forehead instead, then it would be over. If you or Valent were to shoot me in the head, then I to the darkness would go and my art with me. A fitting end, don't you think? Ah. Yet this ending too gives me no cause for regret. I thank you, Zack. And I am sorry. I have done much that was wrong in my day. Okay. It seems to me that Magnify wanted you to be his successor all along. That's why the time he gave you was earlier than Balance. Perhaps. But it is not something we will ever know for sure now. I wonder, what is Valent up to these days? Waiting for you to die. If seven years pass like this, the performance rights go to him. Ah. And now here I am, and his dream is ended. It's worse than that, actually. Public opinion's a fickle thing, you know. What? You don't mean to tell me they've put the blame for our mentor's death on him? The trial ended when you vanished, Mr. Zack. There were even rumors that Valen had helped you pull it off. But that's madness! 
Also, he would have done it if that's the case, if Zack's not lying. Yeah. Well, it seems that before I can once again disappear from this world, I have one more act to perform. Isn't it odd that sorting out my life should prove so complicated? Even though I'm dead. That night, Zack Grammary was killed. He died as Shady Smith, a mysterious traveler with a secret past. But he left one thing behind before he parted. This. To whom it may concern, seven years ago, I, Zack Grammary, murdered my mentor, Magnifique Grammary. I apologize for the trouble caused by my sudden departure from court and hereby confess to my crime, Zack Grammary. His confession, to use as I saw fit. Of course, he'd killed no one. This was his way of tying up loose ends with his old partner, Valent Grammary. Zack's confession added to the court record. I mean, if he did, I would not be surprised. <laughs> he could have just been lying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sucker! The Ganondorf laugh. <laughs> I figured out the other day, one of my coworkers has like the most evil villain laugh. <laughs> Is it like one of those? <laughs> no, it's a girl. <laughs> Oh, so is it, it still like, like <laughs> No! It doesn't sound is like. Is it like a Maleficent laugh? Kind of. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Where I was like, she was just laughing and then she was like, oh, I just realized they sounded really sinister. I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's the um, annoying vegan at my work. Tanya, yeah. Not Tanya, but, <laughs> Tanya, but Tanya. the vegan. <laughs> she's not actually annoying as a vegan, she's just annoying, but okay. she happens to be vegan. Tanya's not her name. Tanya the vegan is like a make believe character we've that made. I where, made. Th yeah. That Marty made. That's basically like the summation of all the annoying vegan YouTubers. YouTube t YouTubers where it's like, oh, I only eat like alfalfa sprouts with. <laughs> that's, not, <laughs> that's not the voice. But, yeah. I only eat alfalfa sprouts with organic yogurt and kale in the smoothie i'll link the recipe down below for those of you who want to try it and those like, of you who eat meat can go to hell <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your opinion no i love meat I wouldn't yeah eat. no meat's great i i like it too ask me what you will you'll get nothing from me mm -hmm. i'm as much of a part of this affair as you are now i have to know what happened for seven long years i have endured now finally the curtain lifts on my new golden age all the miracles of our troop within my grasp. Sorry to do this, Valent. No, no, we're not. But right now, I need answers. I think I'll start by dropping a bomb. That should shake things up. Yo, bro. Valent, I wouldn't be so sure about those miracles. Not as long as I have this. I as long have... as I have this gun. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be frank. No. No one, <laughs> and I mean no one, can stand in my path, even if they have a gun in their head. <laughs> Not even you with your silly free ways He's and your got a gun. gun in his hoister. His hoister? You Is mean his hoist? His hoist. His, hoist. <laughs> his gun holder? Yeah. His holster. His holster. I'm like, hoister? <laughs> hoist hoist rain Hoister sounds. is what it, a magician would use if they're flying on stage. Holster is where you hold a gun. Yeah. Or a banana if you watch The Office. <laughs> what? <laughs> What in the world? You'll have to watch The Office. Yeah, a lot of The Office it. in order to do Let me be frank, too. That's the first time anyone's called me Silly Frilly. What I need is a bit of magic. Something to stop Valent showing his tracks. Now is no time for subtlety. Yo, Valent. Th this is somebody... Oh. Oh, right. And what might that be? I see it bears the Grammary seal. I should have brought this to your attention sooner. But I didn't imagine you'd be planning your comebacks quite so fast. What is this? A document showing the true recipient of the performance he rights to Magnifi's Miracles. Wh what? Zack? Grammary? He wrote this? What? He passed everything to his daughter? Trucy and Igmar. Actually, she's officially my daughter these days. Preposterous! Zack's- Zack is gone! Vanished into the void! This is the genuine article. Zack was alive when he wrote this. Both myself and the notary can testify to this. <laughs> Only one dove flew out. Why? Why does fate toy with me so? Oh, wow. Why must my life be lived in front of my dread? To my dread? Pass me that. <laughs> He's... He... <laughs> Come on, he's had his life crumble around him. It's okay Dread. if he just says a word. Dread. But we haven't been able to play the harmonica in yeah, a while. Yeah, it's true. You're not the only one with that problem. But he shot Magnify. Yes, it was Zack. It was. And then he left. 
and my career as a magician fell into darkness. Do you think there might be some way out of it? Say, if you could prove Zach Grammary shot Magnify? Was that why you testified? Yes! My way out! It should have been my way out! Well, it might not be too late, Mr. Valent. All you need is a way to prove your case. Who really killed Magnify Grammary? We, we're gonna show him the confession? No! So this is the evidence that answers the question, who killed Magnify? Well, the only question that this evidence can answer is, who here is an idiot? <laughs> and it answers you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> That's a good question. Must I suffer such indignities even now? Ah, oh, the life of a magician is a life of toil. It's one easy way to win over the public opinion. <laughs> By producing a signed confession, even if the confession is a fake. Bro, why are we doing this? I believe I have the answer to your prayers right here. Zach Grammary wrote one more thing before passing on. This. But this is a confession! In which he admits to killing Magnify Grammary. See? All according to your plan. I am a magician by trade. Deception is my life's work. I fool the audience, give them a fleeting dream. Yet it seems the tables have turned. Now I am the audience, believing in the deceptions I have wrought upon myself. Zack wrote this right in front of me. After I explained your situation to him. Alaka. Alaka so MG! That was a lot easier to break than I thought it would be. Thought we'd need to do like five things. For two locks? Yeah, sometimes that happens. Rarely though. You do know that this confession is nothing but lies. Yes, it's my opinion that Zach Grammary killed no one, even if he is a colossal butthead. <laughs> <laughs> then you must be thinking the truth is a simple matter of elimination. Two received instructions to kill, but if one is innocent, then the one who remains is guilty. That would be the logical conclusion, yes. So he vanished to protect me, his partner. <laughs> a stirring tale, tis true. Did you shoot Magnify Grammary in the forehead? If I had and I told you, what would you do? Run to the police, perchance? Do as you will. There is nothing left for me now. I do feel bad for this guy. A little bit, yeah. It is true, after all. I have little talent. I needed my mentor Magnify's repertoire. It was as if a little demon grabbed hold of me. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it too. So Valent Grammary did kill the great Magnify. Heh. <laughs> so sorry, Mr. Wright. But it was not I who shot my mentor. What? what But if it wasn't you, then who was it? The mentor shot himself. There wasn't another disciple, was there? Another disciple? Such as... I don't know... Knack and Talent Grammary, maybe? Your wild fancies couldn't be further from the truth. Only Zack and Valent received those threatening letters. But there was another. One more person could have fired that pistol that night. The doctor. No, I don't suppose you figured it out by now. If it wasn't Zack or Valent who shot Magnify, then it had to be the only other person at the scene, which means... Wait, wait. You don't mean... Yes, the great Magnify Grammary himself. Yeah, I, w I was... I was right! You oh. also, like, guessed that, like, five seconds before it was revealed. Yeah, but, but, like, okay. It wasn't the doctor. It wasn't, it wasn't the doctor. It wasn't Palmaractus. It was like a day. <laughs> <laughs> or Guy Aldoon. He was probably still True. a doctor back then. So Magnify Grammary committed suicide? You find it hard to believe? To be honest, I hadn't even imagined it as a possibility. When I arrived that night, the old man was still alive. He appeared to be asleep. I... I could not shoot him. But when I turned and made to leave the room, the old man called out to me. So you spoke with Magnify Grammary? Yes, and this is why I knew what he had done. Magnify transferred the rights to his repertoire to my partner, Zach Grammary, not me. Let's see. Then I guess I owe you an apology. I always thought you were the one who did it. You owe me no apology. Huh? My crime was, in a way, more serious than that of murder. W what? Your crime? Is Valen Grammary confessing something to me? What could be more serious than murder? 
I killed Mufasa. <laughs> that is murder, Marty. It's more than murder. It it's was the, Mufasa. It's, it's, the the murder. Murder. it's the murder of the, um, I can't remember what's his face that plays Darth Vader. James Earl Jones. It's the murder of James Earl Jones. <laughs> you see, I knew that two letters had been sent. There are no secrets between partners. It was easy to find out. That was when I understood Magnifi's plan. He wanted to die by one of your hands? Little did I expect it had anything to do with the rights to his repertoire. That was when I heard it. The little demon whispering inside my heart. The demon? Let me confess, I had intended to shoot Magnifi. And I planned on framing my partner for the crime. Yeah, okay. What? What? That's not surprising. That night, I prepared something before going to Magnifi's hospital room. Which was... The IV bag? IV <laughs> fluid, of course. I'd seen it on an earlier visit. If Zack did not shoot, I would do the deed. Then, I would use the IV liquid to place the murder on his hands. That was my plan. But... You didn't shoot him. I could not. The demon in my heart fled when the moment came. But then Magnifi called me back. I am sorry, Valent. I am giving my magic to Zack, not you. You still lack the draw he has. Please help him, if you can. Magnifi's the worst of them all, though. After, oh, yeah. after all the stunts he pulled. Working through the bowl. Uh, working through the bowl? Working through the bowl, bowl. man, digging down deep. I think I was starting to say, like, Force Bowl Club, but then, like... No, working them to the bone. To the bone? Like, his own daughter died, and he's like, We're gonna cover this up. You guys are gonna do whatever I say. <laughs> the, the chief of the detectives. The chief of the detectives. <laughs> I left the room, and then I stopped. The shock of what I had just been told consumed me. That is when I heard that fateful gunshot. Magnifi Grammary, killing himself. Then the demon awoke anew within me. Zack killed him. He was the one. Frame him and the magic will be yours. I altered the scene of his suicide. I took the pistol from his hand, wiped off the prince, then I used the syringe to add the IV liquid I'd brought. So there- everyone in this magician squad are just giant butts, that's all. Valen's probably the least of the butts, but- I mean- That's still pretty bad, He though. literally admitted he was going to do it if Zack didn't yeah. shoot and pick up a gun. So in the end, things happened pretty much as planned. Magnify died, and you framed Zack for his murder. As planned, indeed. Of course, the outcome was somewhat different than I had anticipated. Well, what do you think? Do you believe my story? Can it be believed, truly? Meanwhile, in the midst of all this, they're just in a random park coliseum. Everyone's Kids, kids are like, yay, I got a balloon! It's like, and then I killed this man! <laughs> one, one minor thing that bothers me, nobody in the hospital heard the gunshots going off. Okay, <laughs> wow! You're right! <laughs> And wouldn't you? Okay. Maybe it was like a really private room. Here's or something. the other thing too. Not only that, he must be hooked up to heart monitors. He's probably he's hooked up to this IV. I would think that if there is something that like <laughs> disrupts his system, that they would have like the beep 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 or whatever, and then the doctors would be like, um, we need to get in here stat. No, remember the doctors just hated two twenties. <laughs> That's all it took. <laughs> <laughs> you saw nothing. He's like sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to, like, Sky Zone twice. <laughs> or get five Cokes from <laughs> Disney World, like I said before. No, you can get... More, I know. Almost eight Cokes. That was, that was seven years ago. I don't know what to believe, but... Yes. I'm glad I heard it from you, Mr. Valent. Thank you. It is I who should be thanking you, Mr. Wright. Only when I had lost everything could I make my decision. You're going to turn yourself in? My partner may have vanished, but not so my guilt. Yeah. And as my guilt stays, all else begins to leave me. My friends, my performance rights, my magic. I've had enough of vanishing acts. I understand. I thought my life would have ruled by a dead man. But I find I was wrong. For Zack Grammary was alive. Well, not anymore. And now it occurs to me... What if he was not the only one who survived? What do you mean? You see, now that I think about it, I realize that I know we never saw proof of her demise. We never saw her body. Um, her? 
The mind races and the mouth flaps on. My apologies. Forget this matter. So it's like, did you shoot her? Well, we said she's dead. Wait, but actually, maybe we didn't shoot her? What? <laughs> she's actually just like, I've had enough of this bleep. Yeah. <laughs> she's <laughs> hanging in the air while guys are not shooting her. So. I can only hope that the day will come when I can again meet my partner Zach Grammary. Then, I shall apologize for my terrible mistake. I am glad we had this chance to talk. Thank you. Meanwhile, it's, Aww, it's poor actually, tuxedo mask. It's fine. Zach, poor Greg the Wiggle. Greg, Greg, no, Craig the oh, Wiggle. Oh, Craig, I'm Craig sorry. The Did wiggle. you ever look that up? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, I had thought of another possibility. She's like hanging in the air doing this while they're shooting. She like plays the song of soaring, and then the wings take her up. And Whoa! Same, same uh, universe as Majora's Mask. Yup. Zach Grammary, Shady Smith. Whichever name you prefer, he is no longer with us. The truth revealed in that trial was only a sliver. Any impenetrable darkness that remained has taken another life. I knew that I'd have to... I knew what I'd have to do to push back the darkness for good. And it would involve paying that man a visit. Yo, Paul Justice, I know you're sleeping, but... Open up! I have a lot to tell you! <laughs> All we have to do is go to the solitary cell. With your luxurious... Oh, you can voice the guard. Sorry, sir. Prison prisoner Christoph Gavin's currently occupied. I see. Uh, do you know when he'll be finished? Uh, um, well... Could you go find out? Uh, certainly, sir. Please wait here a moment. My apologies to the guard, but there's something I need to see. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna go in and rip open the- <laughs> There it is, the yellow envelope. And the sender is... Drew Misham. I was right. Yeah, I was right too. When I arrived at the studio, Mr. Misham was at his desk. He seemed to be writing a letter, but he quickly sealed the envelope. Well, that explains why his, uh, prisoner or the prison cell is all swanky, because he had $100,000. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's just Arthur in the money. No, no, no. Gift. You, no, Kristoff sent the hundred thousand dollars to Drew Misham. I thought, oh, I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> Kristoff is out the hundred thousand dollars. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I thought he got it. I was like, <laughs> it was a yellow envelope. I heard it was left at the crime scene. If this is the last letter that Drew Misham wrote, then there's something I need to do. The last thing I need to do, in fact. Here goes. Let's see if this atroquinine spray finds any. We have this still? We're friends with Emma. Emma, it's fine. So this was Drew Misham's messenger of death. It was this stamp, all right. No mistaking it. And his last letter was sent to Christoph Gavin. How rude. The interview request came like you said it would, and they're looking into the case. I swear on my life I won't tell them about you, so please release the spell you've put on my daughter. I'll write later with a report. Drew Misham. Release the spell you've put on my daughter? Gotcha. Okay. Letter from Misham added to the court record. Please stop filling the nail polish with the atroquinine poisoning. It's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Finally. Decisive evidence. What's this? A burglar? In, In jail? jail? <laughs> One of my favorite lines. <laughs> Gavin! I didn't know you moonlighted in larceny, right? Gavin, there's something I have to ask you. Can I steal your stuff? The answer is no. My apologies, but there's not much I care to discuss. This is great. Vera Misham hasn't received her verdict yet. You follow me, Gavin? Oh. There are no known survivors of atroquinine poisoning, but it never hurts to hope. Okay, I'll be leaving now then. Right. Wait. I got a gun! <laughs> yeah, Gavin? Would you mind leaving that letter? It's private. Oh, sorry. Forgot I had it. Many thanks. Should have taken those screenshots. What is happening? What is happening? Um... Oh, he was recording stuff? Maybe? We've now seen all the clues in the case. Clues I gathered over seven long years. Now it is time. Every story has an ending. 
We've come to the final chapter. The final trial. Find the truth. You're the only ones who can. How does he know that we're both playing this together? I thought he was only talking to Apollo Justice. He's not talking to Apollo for that. He's talking to us? You're the only ones! <laughs> you're not playing this game alone! No, you're playing while your sister's <laughs> awkwardly looking over her, her shoulder. It's like Monica when she reads your, like, that you're recording it. Yeah. She's like, jeez. Oh, wait, she knows that you can be recording a stream? It, it, yeah, if you are using OBS or XSplit to record or stream it, she'll be like, wait, you're recording this? Like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> How about privacy? <gasps> <laughs> that's so amazing! I didn't know they put that in. And then she jump scares you. Oh, well, right. <laughs> wait, does that mean you can't beat the game if you're recording it? No, you can. It's oh, just okay. an extra dialogue. Oh, thing. it's just an extra dialogue. Okay. okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. Yeah. I'm not sure if it'll be one. I'm, it's going to be one recording session. I want it to be one video. It's going to be a long video. But An the hour and a but, half. but the final could be because oh. we have credits as well. Oh yeah. But the final trial, it's very difficult to split up, and I, I can't wait. Also, okay. I really got to prepare. <laughs> yeah. Because unfortunately, once again, you're not going to get to talk much. It's fine. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, definitely tune in for the last episodes. Yeah, until, you made it this far. You might we, as well. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless, my friends. Thank you.